Hello and welcome to my oral presentation for assessment 3 data analysis. So I'm Prasant Rizal and uh, we had a couple of data analysis uh, uh, programs and projects to do for this assessment. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first thing, um, we had to analyze a BRFSS data set which is uh, collected by CDC to monitor U.S. health trends if, uh, if some of the American citizens have some chronic disability or some, uh, let's say, disease prevention, for instance. So for those uh, issues, this uh, data gets collected every year. And uh, some of the columns in the data sets were uh, age, height, current weight, weight from last year, and other key variables and uh, this data is uh, collected by through phone calls basically so the citizens are called randomly and then asked about their weights and heights and and the data is collected uh, for the people living in the US and uh, it is a pretty big data set um, which we were working to perform some data analysis on so um, the first thing we did was uh, uh, summary statistical analysis which um, basically we had to gather uh, gather statistical summary on the BRFSS data set and uh, while uh, the sum of the summary uh, variables that we had to uh, uh, we had to gather were uh, getting the mean median quartile standard deviation min and max values of the current weight last year's weight and height those three uh, those three uh, variables were the most important for us to uh, find out uh, the statistics on and uh, to do that we utilized uh, the panda library from python so first using the read csp function we imported the csp file and then uh, to get the describe and to get the statistical summary we could simply do dot describe function and uh, that would bring the mean, median, quartile, interquartile range, and all that. And uh, after that, uh, we had to visualize the data that we got using um, Seaborn, which is uh, based on Matplotlib. So uh, using that, uh, we created. I created a, a box plot to visualize the data from the data set, and uh, the data looks like uh, this so um, so for the three variables that uh, we gathered the data on one is the current weight and then the weight last year and then the height and uh, the box plot looks like this so notice uh, the box right here is the q1 q2 and q3 and then the horizontal line here and here are the whiskers and the data is outside of those whiskers are the outliers. So this is the statistical summary graph. And uh, let's try to understand the graph a little bit more. So, um, so we can see that the weight related graphs for the last year and this years have similar Q1, Q2, Q3. If we go back into the slide, then we can see the Q1, Q2, Q3 are pretty similar, like they, from between maybe like 60 to 90 so the weight of the people stayed around there so it did not really change over the year which means uh, people have pretty consistent weight throughout and uh, the another thing we can see is the height have consistent values so not a lot of outliers so if we look at the weight there are a lot of outliers beyond the whiskers and even in the minimum range there are a little bit of outliers and a lot of outliers but for height, there's not a lot of outliers, which makes sense because height is normally in a predictable range. So the data can be justified that way. So those are some of the summary statistics. Then uh, next up is the correlational analysis. That was our task two for the project. And uh, in this project, uh, in this uh, task, we had to find the overall change in weight by subtract subtracting last year's weight from current weight and also finding the correla correlation factor to see what key variable is affecting the data set the most. So basically correlational analysis is where you look at a couple of factors and then uh, see 
what correlates the most to the change in the weight so we subtracted the last weight from current current year's weight last year's weight so and then we see what could have caused this change basically what correlates the most and uh, so to compare the correlation factor between the difference calculated and key variables some of the key variable that we used are is current weight and weight of last year and uh, the method we approach is again using panda libraries so using dot core method to find the correlation between the the difference in the weight versus the is the current weight and the weight of last year and also using uh, dot max function to find the most correlatable uh, variable and uh, then visualizing using matplotlib again to create a scatter plot for each of the variable to see the cor correlation trend as well so this is what the trend looks like um, for the correlation if we look at the first graph the weight change versus weight if we think about it linearly then uh, there's a, a good linear increase in the trend and for the weight change versus the last year's weight which is the weight year ago wtyr is zero and uh, we see a reverse um, linear trend like from positive to negative downwards and then the weight change versus age is just a straight horizontal line uh, for the most part there are some outliers of course but yeah and uh, let's try to understand the correlation trend so a linear increase for current weight a linear decrease for last year's weight and a horizontal constant line for age like i just mentioned so the current weight uh, correlation factor was 0 0.035 the weight last year's correlation factor was negative 0 0.318 and the age was negative 0 0.069 so we can see the most correlated factor was the current weight which uh, and looking at the graph as well we can see a positive linear increase so the trend is showing like it's mostly correlated to the uh, difference in the weight factor so which makes sense because uh, current weight is the most recent data and uh, it makes sense to have the most uh, correlation the weight last year is a historical data so uh, it, it should not have a lot of correlation factor as shown by the data and the graph and is uh, has nothing to do with the difference in the weight so it makes sense that the age is not correlated that well with the data as well so that's basically it for the correlation factor and then we also had a task three which uh, i did not need to cover in this presentation but i wanted to just mention slightly so it was a machine learning with scikit learn uh, experiment where we were given two data so house prices and then sizes of house data sets and then uh, we had to create a linear regression model and then predict the house uh, predict the price of the house for house size of 2500 square feet and uh, that was also a pretty straightforward explanation and the result as you look in the graph it was uh, it came pretty consistent to the actual prices given to us so the linear regression model was predicted it pretty well but it would have been better with more data sets of course which uh, uh, it, to train it more so and uh, so conclusion so that's uh, basically it so what we did uh, for this project was we created a linear regression model to predict house prices for the house area and also we found out uh, data analysis proved to be useful to show consistency variability and uh, what factors affect certain key variables for instance in our example we found out that current weight affected the difference in the weight the most and then uh, last year's weight was also another important factor to consider so was age and height although age not so much for the correlation but it's still important to know what age group where weighed how much right so and then visualization is another important thing to see pictures clearly we utilized box plots and scatter plots and line graphs so using different tools um, we were able to have good visualization and to explain the analysts explain and analyze the trends well in the data so overall it was a very uh, useful uh, project to learn a lot of important data analysis related stuffs and uh, this ends my presentation so thank you so much